This week, CNN brings you the stories of pioneers taking on the biggest missions in science and healthcare. Companies can now use virtual reality to do medical research that could help solve key health issues. CNN's Rachel Crane strapped on a headset to see how it's done. Oh, okay. Well, let's give me some hair. This might look like a game, but I'm exploring a virtual reality platform that helps scientists design real medicines by putting them inside the molecules they study. I mean, this is crazy. I'm like in the molecule looking up at it. Joining me is Steve McClowski. The 30-year-old co-founded San Diego-based startup Nanome in 2016 to develop the technology. But you started off as an academic nano engineer. So what inspired you to get into the technology space and actually create this platform? Yeah, I've always been into gaming, grew up big gamer. I remembered how different it was to go into VR and be in the environment uh, compared to just playing a, a 2D game. When I was going through nano engineering, I was like, why don't we have a better immersive graphics way to do this. Turns out, a lot of scientists were asking the same. Had something else in the Since the platform launched in 2018, hundreds of organizations have adopted yeah, Nanome's so. VR tools for their research. McClowski says at a cost of $5,000 plus per year. Being able to go into VR, you actually immediately gain new insights. So this could send you on a completely new path of molecular development that would have otherwise never been discovered. That's exactly what's needed to fight one growing health crisis, antibiotic resistance. It's what happens when bacteria adapt and no longer respond to today's antibiotics, making common infections difficult to treat and even fatal. LifeArc, a medical research charity based in the UK, is using Nanom's VR to search for molecules that can fight some of these bugs. These bacteria are inherently difficult to develop new drugs for because they've got um, very high natural defenses. Tackling the problem in three dimensions helps speed up discovery, LifeArc says. But there are still financial hurdles to overcome. The commercial returns for new antibiotics are really poor. That's because, compared to other medications, antibiotics are cheap to buy but expensive to develop. What kind of time savings does Nanome allow for, and how does that then translate to cost savings? Getting a drug to market six months quicker might be worth tens or even hundreds of millions of dollars of value uh, because you're able to, to start selling it earlier. This is going to be patient lives that you're saving, improvements um, in their lives. Even with a quicker path to discovery, only around 1 in 10 new antibiotics make it past clinical trial. And no antibiotic designed with Nanom's platform is at that stage yet. But McClowski says the VR gives more scientists a chance to beat the odds. It's actually a free version. We try to make it as accessible as possible. Really democratizing access to scientific tools like this. I'm um, trying to see a billion scientists in the world. 